you've been scrolling endlessly on YouTube trying to figure out which printer to buy, right? Or maybe this is your very first video to start your research. I know how stressful it can be when deciding to buy equipment, especially a printer because it's a really big purchase. Trust me, I've been there. I've been scrolling endlessly on YouTube for hours, if not days trying to look for the best printer to buy and honestly I just became more lost and confused right where I began. Well, I want to help you make your decision a little bit easier. So is the Canon TS9521C the printer for you? Well. Let's find out together because I have not opened this yet. Letting you know ahead of time, I am not a printer expert. I am just your average customer looking for a printer so I can like do arts and crafts and stuff. So yes, this will be a very honest review from my perspective at a beginner's level. So in this video, we will be doing first an unboxing and then second, a printer setup. Third, a test print to see what the quality is like. And lastly, we will look into some of the features that make this printer unique. So of course, if there's something you want to skip to, be sure to check out the timestamps in the description below so you can just skip the information that you need. Also, hi, my name is Afra. It is so nice to meet you. Welcome to my channel. I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you do, it means so much if you subscribe to my channel. There will be plenty more unboxings just like this to come. So yeah. Appreciate it. Okay, let's get to the unboxing. All right, here's some quick facts about the Canon Pixma printer while we unbox. Also, is it pronounced Canon or Canon? Like, hello? Anyways, the Canon TS9521C is advertised to be the crafter's printer. And after watching a couple YouTube videos myself, I figured that this might be the printer for me. This printer came out in 2018 and the cost of the printer is $280. I bought mine from Best Buy. As you can see, I bought my little Charlie thing to carry it out. Some of the things that the package came with was ink, paper samples, and a variety of photo paper samples as well. I was about to pull this printer straight out from the box, but let's follow the directions and lay it down flat. Okay, now that we have it unboxed, let's move the printer to its new home. To start, we need to find the nearest outlet and plug this printer in and wake it up. Okay, now that we have the printer plugged in, let's turn it on and set it up. The first instructions that this printer is communicating to me is to set up the ink. It was really cool to see the animations on the screen itself, making it a lot easier to follow directions. Also, be careful while doing this step because I spilled ink and luckily it didn't stain, but just warning. Let's continue following the directions and insert some paper. So the paper tray actually comes off entirely and it was really loose. Not that there's anything wrong with that, just something I'm not used to, so I wanted to point that out. Okay, so in this part, there's a bunch of random questions that I'm speeding through here. And while that was processing, I also pulled out my laptop just to see what the instructions looked like on there. Canon actually did a really good job with step-by-step -step instructions on how to prep and set up your printer, so that was really awesome of them. Now let's work on connecting the printer and the computer. I clicked and downloaded the software, and my background, by the way, is singer and artist Tamin. His music is incredible. You should definitely check him out if you're curious, but yeah. Ooh, 
Once you go through these mandatory steps and the software is downloaded, you will need to connect to the internet. As you can see, my connection failed on my laptop for some reason. So I was instructed to connect directly from the printer instead. And to get there, I clicked on the bottom left button on the home page, then Wi-Fi, and then it showed my Mac laptop address. I clicked on settings after that, Wi-Fi setup, and finally manual connect. Then I was able to see the list of Wi-Fi connections and then I just selected mine and entered the password for my Wi-Fi. I checked back on my laptop and that ended up working. And I was able to continue the installation and add the printer to my laptop. But let me be transparent, okay? Because this process took me a lot longer than what I'm showing in this video. This is the chopped up edited version because I made a lot of mistakes by clicking on the wrong buttons and stuff like that, so just wanted to let you know. The next step was to test print, which pro tip, if you end up getting support code 1240, it means that the front lid here needs to be open like how I'm showing in this video. I made this mistake so many times. And the test print from Canon was a success, but of course I had to do my own test print. The photo that I decided to use was a picture of all these gel pens, lots of color in this photo, so wanted to see how the Canon Pixma held up. And not too bad, honestly not bad at all. I wanted to give it a second test using the photo paper provided and just to see how that would work. So according to the user manual, which you should definitely read before starting because I didn't and wasted a lot of time, it says that photo paper should be loaded on the rear tray cover, not the front one. So let's extend the rear tray and place the photo paper there. Make sure to adjust using the blue clamp thing so it fits to the paper size. Okay, so I faced another issue here and it was not putting the correct paper size, which I swear I thought I had. But anyways, I set the paper type for the rear paper tray to be other to see if that worked and it did. So just letting you know if you're facing the same issue, click other. It should be taking it from here. <gasps> Did you see it move? Oh my god. Yes! Okay, I mean, make sure you get your sizing right. But for the purposes of seeing the quality, I mean, this looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, I was really happy with the print quality on this photo paper. And as you can see, the quality and color differed big time between normal paper and photo paper. Different type of paper improving quality this dramatically was new to me, so something to keep in mind as I work on future projects. Last but definitely not least, let's talk about the printer's special features. The Canon PIXMA TS9521C highlights three main features. Number one, this printer can print wordless printing on paper that is up to 12 by 12 inches. Number two, this printer is cardstock or greeting card compatible, which unfortunately I do not have the 7 by 10 inches paper type to try this out, but this is really cool because you can just print out cards straight from your own house, the comfort of your own home type of thing, which is awesome. Number three, it has free templates and prints built into the printer already. And lastly, wireless printing okay so let's start with wireless printing and try out the borderless image as well to be honest being able to print directly on my phone is a huge perk for me i'm coming from having to email myself images and printing on my family printer okay so like we've come a long way on this channel once you got all the options you want go ahead and click print and 
Did you hear that? The printer started doing its thing as soon as I hit print. It was instantaneous, like wow. Okay, let's check out this borderless printing. I wish I had chosen a darker photo so you can really tell, but this whole page is filled with light pink and no borders. Alright guys, the last feature, the in-house prints and templates. 45 free prints. 45. Scrapbookers? Art journalers? Are you listening? You won't have to go stationary shopping for backgrounds anymore. Kind of. Okay, I thought this was a really nice addition and Canon made it really clear with who they were marketing towards with this feature. Here's how the test print looks like and look, it's borderless. Also, honorable mentions are the notebook paper, checklist, and calendar templates that this printer also provided. Hi, I'm editing this video and I forgot to mention that there is a lot more to the Canon Pixma that I couldn't get to, like making copies and scanning. If you'd like me to make a video on that or anything else that I couldn't cover about this printer, please let me know. I'm happy to make like a part two of this video. Also, this printer will definitely make plenty of appearances on my YouTube channel with my upcoming studio vlogs where I'm making DIY notepads, which hopefully will turn into a nice Etsy shop. So we'll get to see this printer in action and make good use out of it in future videos, so be sure to subscribe. So I want to know, what are your thoughts on this printer? And if you're still doing your research, like what is making your list? What are you considering to buy? Let us know in the comments. I'm sure we all could benefit from each other and figure out like what printer we're trying to buy and for what purpose. And then hopefully we can just reduce the time we spend scrolling endlessly on YouTube for days, for weeks, for months, you know? So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, check out my channel and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more unboxings and I'm really excited for them. So yeah, until next time, stay healthy and happy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.